up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are all doing well if you are new here hello my name is Tashai today I'm gonna do an updated everyday makeup everyday go to a glam look I've definitely changed a few products in my routine so I think it's only right I update you guys and show you guys what I've been using recently for my face I already moisturized I use my revolution um, moisturizer for dry skin normal to dry skin I also of course put on my SPF this is a Bondi Sands face SPF 50 plus um this is my second or third time using it I believe but I heard it's really good especially for us melanated women it doesn't leave us a white cast I definitely have it on and it's been doing well I really like it so far so yeah I use this and then um I might as well just put my primer on I'm using this pro base MOA primer this hasn't changed I really do enjoy it I'm literally at the end of this one I just recently bought a new one so I'm just gonna put this on my face and it's a hydrating primer so it gives me extra hydration and I just really like it so I do have more normal to dry skin I could say combination because well to be honest I feel like the oiliness that I used to get on my forehead is kind of like subdued I think because I've been hydrating so much it's kind of like calmed down now so I'd say I have more normal to dry skin um, so hydration is always important to me. So now my face is nice and primed. It has a little tackiness to it, which is good because you know everything you put on top is literally going to be secure and stay down, which is amazing. So now we're going to get to complexion. If you're not new to my channel, you guys know NARS is like my favorite for foundation. So I use the shade Namibia in both the Natural Radiant Longwear and also the Soft Matte. Um, I have been enjoying the soft matte which is a bit odd seeing as I have more normal to dry skin but the way I finish it off everything just comes out looking amazing. Lately I've been picking up this so I'm just going to use this one but um, yeah I alternate the two and I use the shade Deep 4 which is Namibia. It is a little bit deep like it literally blends into my skin perfectly but I could go a shade up to I think Iguaku but I prefer my foundation to be a little bit darker so i'm gonna blend this out today i'm gonna use this elf foundation brush i've been loving this it's the buffing foundation brush and we are just going to blend that in obviously if you'd want something more radiant go for the natural radiant but i have been loving how this looks on my skin and i just feel like it gives me a perfect look so we're just gonna blend this out And sometimes I'll even mix, which is what I'm doing now, um, the radiant and the matte in the same shade just to give me a nice finish. Don't really have any dark spots or anything, so I usually just use excess. Go up here, use any excess on my hand, down to my neck. If I'm wearing an open top like this, I will go down to my neck. If I'm wearing a top that's a little bit more like up here, um, I wouldn't really go down to my neck just because I can't bother with transfer even though I don't have that much transfer for makeup I just rather just not have any issues <laughs> Um, so I'm also just go here. So now we're gonna go on to eyes Lately I've been liking to use eyeshadow on my everyday makeup because I feel like it gives me more of a cat effect on my eyes So I'm gonna jump into my September Rose Brew palette also sometimes will pick up, you know, my Morphe 3502 if I can open it this is another palette I love for every day, just to use like some of the browns. Um, just depends on the mood. So we are gonna go into the brown shade called Pour, and we're probably gonna mix it a little bit with cinnamon, just to give it some a little, a little, you know, je ne sais quoi. And we're just going to blend that on the outer V, so like this area of my eye here. And kind of wing it out like we're doing liner and what this does is gives me a little bit of a cat eye to my eye instead of like using like a black liner to do a cat eye if you get what I mean I feel like it really shapes my face really well so yeah I'm gonna quickly just do this um, I do like to use a dark brown just so that it has a little bit of dimension when I am ready to like highlight and put my concealer on And sometimes I'll go in with the black, it's called loose leaf, and sometimes I'll just, just to give it a little bit more definition. I'm going to take up a skin tone brown, so maybe something like this, skin tone brown. I'm just going to slightly put it on over here. Just because I want to make sure it's not too dark and it still is giving like soft glam, you know? 
now it's time to throw on my lashes i'm just gonna put some mascara on and throw on my shy girls which are i feel like one of my most complimented lashes one of my most popular ones i always get questions on are you wearing lash extensions what lashes are those so i'm gonna throw these on i have loads of different lashes on my site these are how my lashes look just have shy beauty there shy beauty at the back and then my logo in the front slide out with the name don't forget to check out your girl quick promo <laughs> my lash glue that i like to use because i don't want none of you guys using hair glue bonding glue listen i used to do that i think probably in college days it's not cute girl don't do it this eyelid lash glue is so good it's so strong it literally holds on my lashes for dear life but you've got to be really careful taking this off because it can like rip out your lashes like i've had had some experiences um so make sure when you're taking this off you do what you need to do take it off take off like with um makeup remover or just be really really patient okay so our lashes are on let's get into concealer um i've loved using the makeup revolution concealer define infinite so long of a name in at 13.5 this is my favorite concealer but the mvp has been coming through this is a pro long wear concealer on nw 40 yeah nw40 these two together are like the dream team literally dream team perfect coverage perfect finish like it just it can never go wrong and i'm just going to do my concealer like normal so i just usually go in the corners yeah, right here here yeah, yeah. and i like to bring my concealer a little bit in to my nose I, that helps when i start to contour and stuff like that so i leave that to sit for like 20 or 30 seconds and i'm just gonna dampen my sponge with some fix plus this is my favorite part i feel like highlight and contouring is like the best part of my makeup it's just it's amazing so i'm just gonna start like literally with the top and tap down on the edges because we don't like harsh lines okay Look up and stop blending directly under my eyes. You just want to be really gentle. And now I'm going to go in with NW40. So not every day. This is like my go-to glam. Put a little on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use this brush, which I love using. This is actually from the Naked 3 palette. And just kind of... And then you know the cat eye that we were talking about earlier, we're gonna just make it sharp. I think concealer is really important to me because I feel like this part of your face is like the most important because it's the middle. So if the middle part of your face ain't popping, like it just everything else doesn't set off right. I'm just gonna put some of that concealer down in the middle of my nose so we can start contouring. Um but at this point my face will start to look a little bit matte. But don't worry because once we finish off the face, you guys will see how it comes together. I like to let that sit for a little bit and get a little bit net, not too dry, but just not too. I don't like to move it when it's too wet because I feel like the concealer just slips and slides a bit. So I like to let it settle. Then I'm going to go with my concealer to contour. This is my Revolution Conceal Define Concealer in C18. I've been using this for a long while now and I absolutely love it um and i'm also going to use my fenty um matchsticks in ebony when i first used this if you guys watch my fenty beauty full face i really didn't love it but i found a way to work with it that literally gives me the perfect contour bronze look like ugh, i love it i'm just actually gonna start blending this out why don't i just do my nose first I feel like tapping your makeup is like the key to getting a good blend. Just tap at the sides. And I just like to use tapping motions. Just to kind of get the product where I want it to be and then I will start like kind of blending. But one of my key top tips is when you're contouring your nose, you want to use kind of a dense brush, something small with like some short bristles and something that's quite dense at the top just so that you can have a lot of control of the product because you need to be able to control exactly what you're blending and where you're blending it because you don't want 
anything to go too out of place um so yeah that's one of my main key tips i like to go up in my brow bone and back here so it's like a consistency of you know shadow on my face gonna make sure this is all blended I'm gonna use the c18 concealer and do my two c's like i usually do them so i just do two c's around my face like this a bit messy today but you get the idea i'm gonna use the bottom of my beauty sponge and we're just gonna diffuse that into the skin i feel like i put a little bit too much here you know so i'm gonna take off a bit Diffuse that down and this gets rid of any like harsh lines or like anything like too many harsh differences between my highlight out and my foundation shade do you see how quick it is to look? don't you just love highlight contouring like what was what was i doing before this i love it i did keep my cat eye um it's personally up to you before i never used to do it it used to just be completely seamless um but i do like the cat eye look it gives me i just i really like it i like to go for my fenty matchsticks in ebony i don't like putting it straight on my face i feel like you need to warm up this product a little bit to get like the best the best out of it really so what i like to do is i just like to warm it up in the back of my hand i saw Pris priscilla ono doing this and she's like the global makeup artist for fenty so i just copied her so it gets much more creamier and much more easy to work with. It's very similar to my cream bronzer, if I can find it. Yeah, my cream bronzer and toffee teas. I also like using this, just depending on the day. I mean, I go either or either. I just literally use the back of my pea blender, dip into it. And then I just kind of, you can see right there. It gives me much more of a deeper look, much more definition. So I just like to use it a tiny bit just to give me a bit more of a contour. Just a smidgen, just a little sprinkle of it, okay? Not too much. Especially on days where I feel like I look a little bit chopsters, I that just makes everything a little bit better. So now we're gonna start under eyes. Head up will never steer me wrong. I use this to set and then this to bake a little bit. If I'm feeling extra dry, I just give this a skip. But I definitely always use my header. I feel like I'll be using this for a very long time because it just, it, it, she never steers me wrong. This is the Easy Bake Powder in Kunafa. I'm gonna use another e.l.f. brush. This is the Mineral Powder Brush. I actually use a little bit and I just kind of lock everything in. It's just like extra security just to make sure everything is set in and in place and not gonna move. And you guys will see how much of a difference it makes. It just makes my under eyes look so flawless and amazing. So, do you guys see the difference between this eye and that eye? It's literally a visible difference. Like, this powder is like freaking... Whew, I don't know what she put in it. I'm a person that when I smile, my eyes get like... You guys can see? It gets like that. So, um, yeah, I definitely got to make sure I sit under here. This is a little extra step. Use my honey powder, my Laura Mercier. And I'm just going to kind of bake slightly. But, you know just a little bit no surprise if you're not new here you guys know these are my favorites i have a whole bunch of bronzers but these are like my go-to's today i'm gonna use dark deep dark i use them both i'm gonna use this brush i really love this brush very fluffy perfect for bronzing contouring um i might put it on my website if you guys are interested in like makeup tools let me know because i found some amazing brushes and um yeah i'm just gonna do a little bit of this also gonna use a little bit of this up here and bronzer just makes a huge difference if you don't have bronze in your routine start again go back to <laughs> go back to start do not collect 200 do not pass go but there's so many different options i do have a bronzer collection video don't feel like i have to update it because i don't feel like i bought anymore but literally bronzer is like so necessary and this is a brand that i definitely recommend i know that makeup revolution is now an altar i believe so 
if you're in the US you have more availability towards it do you guys see what that the difference it just made like magic so we're gonna just blend this under eye just quickly just like that I mean, no. I've been using this for like the last couple of videos and it's still not dry so we're just gonna keep it going the Fenty frontal mascara I'm just gonna put that on my Lash so bottom lash line mascara is done. I use the Fenty and I just feel like a really defined bottom lashes like change the game for me. They just make my eyes look much more cuter. It's more of a glam look. And now let's go on to blush. The blush I've been loving recently is this XX Revolution blush in Jaded. Jaded. It's just this really nice coral type orange i wouldn't say it's orange it's more like coral more like the red side like fire orange that's how i would describe it and then i also have been loving this elf party blush and i think this is in the style fiji or the shade fiji it's how it looks it's very like really similar in color honestly they're almost like the same thing just like the cream version but i do love cream blushes i do love like the little radiance it gives me so i like to kind of combine the two so i use the powder first and then i kind of lay it on top of the cream blush so i'm just gonna use this brush here this is my lily england c2 brush and it can be quite pigmented and just kind of lay it on top and i feel like blush just gives such a nice color to my skin i really enjoy a good blush moment i'm just gonna use the fiji brush again on the back of my same beauty blender and just kind of put a little on top and this almost kind of locks it in as well which is good it's like another extra security security measure okay i should name this tutorial securing securing i don't know securing the soft glam because i do a lot of securing with my makeup so we're basically nearly done it's just literally the finishing touches so this is just really extra guys but i'm just showing you guys what i do to secure the face okay the fenty powder foundation just a little bit just kind of Especially around my mouth. Oh my gosh, you guys I always lose makeup around my mouth. Like if I'm eating or drinking when I go out. Always. Just got to do my little beauty spots that I like to do. Literally. Let's do one here. Wow, those little beauty spots dry. Let's do our lips. My favourite. You guys might be shocked to know what my favourite lip combo is these days. Because when I did the video for these, I was not feeling it like that. But... The gloss from creams have come around i've come around i actually do like them so my go-to like gloss has been the cookie jar with a little bit of the honey waffles in the middle with of course a nice deep brown liner so that's what we're going to do today it's no different and this is the oh rimmel brow pencil i mean i always use this so. i'm gonna go with cookie jar So at this point, once like my little beauty spots have dried, just use my powder brush and go over them. They don't look too shiny and they kind of look like I've got makeup over them. I bought this recently. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I like to use this just to finish off my brows and keep them in place. So the last thing we've got to do is use setting spray. It's the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray this setting spray is like top two and it's not two like where have i been i was about to forget glow how can we forget glow like we're gonna use some shy beauty we're gonna use some shy glow i know it kind of gives me a little cheek bone direction it's more so my nose that i feel like it just does something it transforms the whole look i'm gonna use the setting spray and i'm just gonna spray it down this setting spray does have a fragrance to it like a floral smell but it does settle down you know once it dries up but it does definitely have a floral scent i'll zoom you guys out a bit because i mean we're done okay so this is the finished makeup look my favorite addition to my like everyday glam has to be that charlotte tilbury setting spray this thing this is a game changer no matter how much like matte products i use i mean i use like 95 percent matte makeup products today i'm mostly using matte foundation and 
once I put this on my face, the radiance, the natural finish comes through. So this has been a game changer for me. I'm also my brow setter. I love how fluffy and soft my brows look, especially in the middle. Um, middle, the front um, area. It makes my face, I think overall makeup look really soft. And yeah, I just love how like kind of natural they look in the front now. I'm, I'm feeling it. I really do like that. So that was a nice addition too. But everything I used, I will put in the description box. I will add links as much as I can as well. But yeah, I guess that wraps up in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking with me. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And yeah, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next one.